Hello, how are you? Here we are again with Community Concerns because community matters. Today we're here at our meet and greet and we are at the 517, seeing what's going on. We would like to thank Starbucks for donating the coffee today because they're in our community and they care about what it is we're doing. So we would just like to say thank you, Starbucks. There you go, there you go. Go on over there and pray, girl. Go on over there and get it in. Go on in there and get it in, girl. Go on over there and do what you do. That's what you do. We coming together. This is, a, this is power. That's right. Go on get it, Veronica. Go on do what you do. That's right. This is unity in the community. I'm telling you, this is priceless right here. This is priceless. This is unity in the community because community concerns mm -hmm. and it matters. We're still here with community concerns because community matters. So today we actually have someone, Ms. Veronica, who is going to interpret in Spanish for us. Hola, me llamo, me llamo Veronica y gracias para venir en el apartamento complex aquí que es el número es 517 y en esta punta también tenemos café de Starbucks y gracias. We're still here with community concerns because community matters. Today we have two translations in Spanish. So let me introduce you to Miss Maria. Hola, mi nombre es Maria. Este, 517, gracias a esta junta y a este cafecito nos reunimos y esperamos que sigamos reuniendo con este cafecito delicioso y este clima fenomenal que se merece un buen trago. Les invito para que sigan tomando su delicioso cafecito. We're here at the meet and greet at the 517, and we're going to play a little trivia to give away a few complimentary prizes. We like to know when the building was built. We're going to take a break and let everybody think. And the question is, when was the building built? We're going to count down and take a break. So the answer was 2020? Is that right, Miss Maria? 2020? Yes. 2020 is when? 2020. So Mr. Miss Maria won the grand prize of a Kia bag. Maybe she'll open it and let you see what it looks like. We've been here since 2020. It is now 2024. How many fentanyl deaths have we had in this building since 2020? We're gonna have to take a break and we want everybody to think about it. And this is one of the questions that if you've won a gift, you can win another gift if so you know this. So the question thing. is, how many fentanyl deaths has it been since you moved in in 2021? I would say nine nine fentanyl related deaths and how many deaths in total 12 12 wow Ooh. stay tuned well that was another session of community concerns because community matters and as you see mr frank my ride or die he stayed until the very end and he's going to participate with me right now to thank 
grocery outlet, right? Grocery outlet, so I For the cookies, thank you so much, and Starbucks. And thank you, Starbucks, and thank you, Cookies thank Grocery you. Outlet. We appreciate <laughs> how you care about what matters to us because community concerns are what matter to us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.